Hey, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought it would be fun to share my perfume collection. I don't, it's not a large collection, but um, I thought it would be fun to share it with you guys. And what I would love to hear from you guys is I would love to hear you guys share your favorite perfumes is there some tried and true ones you've been using for years have been repurchases for you or new ones you just discovered or whatever let me know in the comments below i'm also going to kind of talk about some of them in the past that i used to like that i really wish were still around so i'm going to talk about that too and maybe maybe you used it too and you're like oh yeah it was such a good one so we're going to get right into this Video. I have always loved perfumes and there have been some over the years that I I used to love one was obsession oh my gosh obsession I loved the bottle that egg-shaped bottle I don't know if they still make it maybe they do that was my go-to for years Calvin Klein obsession I loved that perfume there was one from Laura Ashley too there was a Laura Ashley perfume that I used to love I remember it was a really really pretty floral bottle oh my gosh I loved that one Paris is that the one or was it Guerlain that had the perfume that was Paris I used to love that one that was like my go-to for a long time too oh and there's one more there was one from Crabtree and Evelyn it was called uh Savannah Garden I think it was called Savannah Garden oh my gosh I loved it if you use a Colleen Rothschild conditioning conditioning uh, mask or her shampoo, that's what it smelled like. I freaking loved that perfume. I wish they still made it. They don't. And I, oh my gosh, I loved it. Savannah Garden, <gasps> Crabtree and Evelyn. Do you remember Crabtree? Oh my gosh, I used to love Crabtree and Evelyn. Back in the 80s, I used to have those little, remember the light rings with the oil and you'd put it on your lamp and it smelled good for a while but then it would start to burn and everything but I used to love that and the carpeting stuff you put the the scented stuff in your carpeting you know oh, I used to love all that stuff okay so anyway so that's kind of what jarred my made me want to share with you guys my perfumes it's just like I've fragrance has always been a part of my life scented candles and everything which I'm going to be talking about the scented candles I've discovered some recently so stay tuned from that i I've discovered some amazing new scented candles, not new to me, that you may not know about, so stay tuned for that video, okay? These are some of my favorite perfumes, and there's a little story behind each of them, I guess, and I don't know if you're like that too, so I'm going to share a little story with each of them too, okay? So this perfume, the first one I'm going to share with you is one of my favorites, and when I wear it, I feel like it's my signature scent. And I get compliments every time I wear it. People just like, and sometimes it's weird. I don't smell it on me after a while, but people smell it on me. So I don't know if I just get used to it, but if I'm around somebody, they could always smell the scent and I love it, okay? And it brings back memories of vacations and trips and just, it's just a happy scent. And I am really blessed to be able to enjoy this when I visit one of my favorite places, okay? So it is Layla. This is Layla from Near Guess. This is the essence of Norway. I think it even says it on there. So if you've been to Epcot in Florida and Disney World, if you've been to Epcot and you go to Norway, this is what it smells like. It smells wonderful. It's just like a beautiful field of flowers. I can wear this all year round here. I love it. To me, it's not overpowering. It's just really, it's like one of those really, really fresh floral scents that just, oh my gosh, I love it. So this is like my signature scent. I love it. I have so many good memories attached to this. And I'm, every time I go to Norway now, it's just like, oh, I just love it. Well, this is another uh, Disney World um, perfume too that I got in Disney World. You don't have to get it in Disney World, but I did. So in France, they have these perf the perfumery, I think is what it's called. So they have perfumes from um, Dior back there. And then the other shop, they have Guerlain, and they have some lipsticks and, and different some makeup there too. But then they also have perfume there as well. So when I turned, I feel like this was when I turned 50, I decided to treat myself and 
one of our trips to Disney World was before we moved here. And I smelt this. I was like, I want a special perfume. I want something to take home with me because I already have the Layla. So I'm like, I want a new scent to bring home with me that I can think about our trip. And I know I can buy this anywhere, but this is like my connection. You always want to like, whenever I've gone on a trip somewhere or vacation or whatever, I always like to bring home something that I can remember that little trip that we took on vacation, okay? And it's this one. It's from Dior. This is J'adore. Oh my gosh, I love this. It smells amazing. This one is the most, I, I think this is the most expensive perfume I have ever bought out of everything that I have. And this one is the Parfum. It's actual Parfum. It says Essence Parfum. So this is Essence Parfum. So this is the bottle. It's just beautiful. You open it up and it looks like this. So like I said, I've had this for a while now and it's still... Oh, I love the scent of this. This smells like money, okay? You know, some scents just smell like money. This smells like money. This smells like dressed up businesswoman in a suit, a bad boss, a bad bitch. You know what I mean? Like I'm a bad, you know what I mean? Like that, like I'm a badass, you know what I mean? I have it all together. I have my Chanel purse, which I don't have. <laughs> my Chanel bag I'm all together and I'm getting into my Mercedes and you're wearing this okay none of those fit my description but that's what I feel like in my mind when I'm wearing this I freaking love it it's definitely a little bit more intense but I'm gonna be honest with you I wear I wear it in the warmer months and cooler months I really don't care I just wear it I wear perfume whatever the hell I want to but you don't have to this is just like you spray it you walk in it and you're good you don't want to go crazy with this, okay? Because it's intense. This will last, like this, I will smell it all day. It just never goes away. I just freaking love it. Love it, love it, love it. This is another, since we're on Disney, let's just go there. This is another one from Disney that I love. Again, it's from Near Guest. This is from, uh, this one's called Frozen in a Bottle. And the weird thing is about this is they always have this in the kids section. I'm sorry, there's no way I'd pay 60. I think it's like $65. Maybe it's more than that for my daughter, like as a child, like a little child. No, I did buy this for my daughter for Christmas, but she's an adult. But as a child, no. And I don't think it smells like a juvenile scent. It smells so good. It's, it's a really fresh scent, but it's not like the Layla. It's a little bit more intense. Again, it's floral, but it's got that fresh. Do you know those scents that kind of smell? like a fresh like the ocean kind of a scent do you know what I'm saying like it, that's the scent that this is I love it I love it I love it I love it and I will repurchase it and I love the color of the bottle because you guys know how I am with, with that color but I've had this for several years now love it one more from Disney <laughs> I thought that was my last one actually I have this one okay so this one I bought in Epcot again when we moved here I just, I was like, they had this special thing that you could do with the bottle. And I was like, I want to do that because I want to remember this. Like when we moved here, it's special. So this bottle will remain with me forever. Okay. And this one is Miss Dior. And this is called um, Absolute Blooming. So it's beautiful. Look at the bottle, how beautiful it is. It smells, it's got a little bit of a sweet smell to it. That's one thing about all my fragrances. I feel like. They're all different, and I like that. There's not like I have the same stuff, you know? But it's got a little sweetness. It's like floral and sweetness. I love it. But look at the back of it. Can you see that? Let's see if I can tilt the bottle. So it says, Dreams Come True. And it has the um, castle on it. I don't know if I have the date on it. Do I have the date? No, I probably should have him do the date on it, but I didn't. But... Yeah, I just had to get this because um, I wanted to remember when we moved here. Not that I'm going to forget, but yeah, I just wanted something special. And they had an engraver there. I think they still do that now, I believe. I think they still do. I don't know. But I love this bottle. I will never get rid of it ever. Just love it. I love the perfume and I love the bottle. The next one is this. This one smells so good. And after I'm done with it, I don't know if I'll repeat 
purchase this one because there's other scents from this one that I want to get instead and I don't want to have I don't know I just don't want to have the same perfumes in the same company like I want to kind of switch it out this one smells amazing I don't like the way the label looks on it now you're gonna see it it's kind of like peeling off so I don't like that but it's from replica and it's called lazy Sunday morning and it says uh, the province and period is Florence 2003 it says fragrance description is soft skin and bed linen and it says style description female fragrance and it's from Mason Margiela Paris so this is what it looks like I don't like the way it's peeling though I guess is it supposed to look like that I don't know but it smells oh this one smells so nice they all smell nice this is again one of those really pretty fresh scents it's one of those when I smell this and Frozen's the same way there's some perfumes like as soon as I put it on it just puts me in a happy mood that's what this one is this is like one of those that just puts me in a happy mood I don't know why but I freaking love this perfume it's really nice and fresh and this one will last on me all day too love it love it love it this one's pretty new to me I got a sample of this and I was like I have to get that perfume it's so pretty it's soft it stays on me but it's not one that it's kind of like my Layla where I, it's still on me but I don't always smell it all the time and it's my Jo Malone wood sage and sea salt oh my gosh I love this again it's a really really pretty fresh florally scent really light uh, most of my perfumes I feel like are light there's one, the next one I'm going to show you is kind of similar to Dior where it's a little bit more intense but still pretty. Oh, I love it. It's just really, really fresh and pretty. I just love this one. And I love the bottle on it. I love this. I have these all displayed out on my dresser in my bedroom. I don't get sun like beating in there so it's not in sunlight because you're not supposed to keep your perfume in the sun so it's nowhere where it's the sun's hitting it, you know. And this is the last one. This is one that's a recent purchase for me. So this one, again, was one that I got a sample of. I get a lot of samples of perfumes with my orders from um, Nordstrom, and sometimes they're good, and sometimes, ugh, they're bad. Okay. <laughs> so this one, I love. Now, this one's really, really fresh. Can be a little bit intense. So you don't want to go crazy spraying it. Lasts on me a long time all day long floral scent but has that little bit of a powdery scent do you know what I mean and it's the Chanel Gabriel I hope I'm saying that right I know somebody said I pronounced it wrong anyways I love the bottle on this look how beautiful the bottle is it's kind of like like kind of goes in like this and I don't know I just love the simplicity of it and the scent Oh, it's so pretty. It's so, it's really, really pretty. Mm. It's like I said, it's florally, but then has that little bit of a powdery scent. Just really, be I really like this one. This is just absolutely beautiful. I don't feel like a lot of people talk about this one. So those are my current favorite per, uh, my current favorite perfumes and my perfumes those are the ones that I have so again let me know in the comments what are your favorite perfumes what are some perfumes maybe from the past that they don't make anymore that you're like oh I really love that scent but they don't carry it anymore let me know in the comments would love to hear from you if you're new here would love to have you join just smash that subscribe button I share new videos every single week make sure you click that notification bell too follow me on all the socials and I'll catch you guys on my next video